All right, this video we are going to show you how to do the layout for your clock projects. As you see, we have different styles of clocks here. We have a round clock face with the rounded edges on top, an angled clock face, the angled corners, and a square clock face here with just squared off corners. We're gonna be making all the measurements for our basic parts, including the base, face, and charging stand, as well as any special marks for your uh, clock face shapes. Before we get started, you're gonna be getting two pieces of lumber. You're gonna get a large piece and a small piece of lumber. The small piece will become your charging stand. The big piece will become your clock face and base. We're gonna start with this. You're also today gonna to need a pencil and your teacher will help distribute. Yeah, each person in the group needs a ruler and you'll need your station's uh, speed square. Notice my ruler and speed square are both numbered. They both have matching numbers. These both happen to be number one. So you will have a speed square and a ruler assigned to your station. First thing we have to do is actually measure how wide our board is. It should be roughly five and a half inches, but that is not a guarantee. So first you need to find the inches side of your ruler. It actually says inch right on your ruler. So what you're gonna do is actually line it up right on the edge of your board and measure across. This one happens to actually be five and a half inches right on the nose. You can see right here, it's at five and a half inches. Okay, so that's really easy. It means we need to go down five and a half inches along our board to measure off the clock face. So what we're gonna do is just let's set the ruler on here. You can do it one of two ways. You can do it this way or use the speed square. I'll show you this way first. So you put it right at the edge of the block, right at the edge, keep your ruler straight, go down five whole inches, and you mark the half inch with just a little mark that goes across. So you can see there's five and a half inches and there's the mark. Then what you wanna do is use your speed square. So your speed square has a couple different edges here. There's this main edge the angled edge, and then there's this frame edge, which you can see has a frame on it. What you wanna do is put this frame against the edge of your wood. So the other way you could measure this, if you don't have the ruler, your partner's using it, put the frame flat against the short end of the board, slide it up over to the edge, and again, you can kind of see here, count out, there's five inches, and then there's the half inch mark right there. Put a little tick mark, as you can see, those line up those marks line up. So the easiest way to make sure you have a straight line is to actually take your square, take the frame, and set it on the edge of the board. And what you wanna do is line up, put your pencil on that mark, line up the frame, and you're just gonna keep that square right and tight against the board, and just lightly draw the line across your board there. Then what you're gonna do is uh, make sure that double check your measurements that that is five and a half inches. All right, the next step is to mark the center hole where we are going to drill out the clock face. That's so we can put our clock mechanism through. Easy way to do that is to just use the square. Um, you can do this from either direction. Either way, you're gonna do it from both sides. So what you're gonna do is again, take the frame of the square, set it against the edge, and we're going to slide the square along the board so that it lines up at the very corner right here at the bottom of the board the line and the top corner of the board here so you slide it along make sure that's nice and straight keep your square flat against the edge and instead of drawing all the way across the middle we're just going to find a spot right in the middle of the board it should be right in the middle just draw a short really light line so not that long you can see here, it's not a super heavy dark line, really short, really light. If you push too hard doing this, you're actually gonna dent the wood and it won't come out. So once you've done it that way, you literally just flip the frame over on the square. You're gonna line it up again, top corner to the corner of the line. You can see I was off a little bit on my line here, but I'm gonna draw across. So you can see here, where I was off a little bit. That is not a problem. Literally just gonna clear that there. 
we'll erase this line, this extra line here in a little bit. All right, that is that part. Everybody has to do this. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make a guideline for the cutting. So we're gonna make a guideline for the cut so that we can make sure we cut this straight. To do that, you need the ruler again. Everyone's gonna need the ruler. And we're gonna measure off 1 16th, which from any mark on the inch ruler is just one line over. One little line is a 16th. So on your wood, what you're gonna do is just line up the ruler at any mark, doesn't matter, on the inches side. And you are going to just line it up on the mark, put one little mark over, one tiny little mark over. You can see that, one mark over, one sixteenth. Up, set that aside, take your square again, and you're gonna put the frame on the edge, keeping it flat, and you are going to line that up with that little sixteenth mark and lightly trace that. What that does is it gives us a little highway, a little road to cut down. So that's about the width of the blade on the bandsaw we're gonna use. So those little lines give us the uh, space to cut between. Okay, so we've got our face measured, we've got the hole marked, and we have our cut line centered there. The next is if anyone is going to do the angled clock face, we've got angled here, or the round clock face. These markings need to be done for that. If you're doing the square clock face, you're done for the moment. So for the angled, we're gonna put all of our pieces here on the end of the board, on the, sh the long cutoff end here of our clock face. You do that because this is end grain. We have really nice, clean factory edge here on the board on the sides. You don't wanna cut that up for clock face. So we're gonna cut it all off the end here. So both angled and the rounded clock face people have to do this step next. What you're gonna do is measure in on the edge here an inch and a half. So with that, what you need to do is put the ruler across the end. You want this right up at the edge of the block. So I'm gonna turn my ruler this way. And what we're gonna do is right along that end of the board, you're gonna measure off an inch and a half from this corner right inch and a half and we're gonna put a little mark right at the edge so inch and a half right at the edge we're gonna come to this other side and do the same thing you don't have to start at the very end of the ruler just find an inch mark come in an inch and a half and again a little mark right at the edge inch and a half then you need the speed square you need your orange square so what you're gonna do, so we're gonna go opposite side. So to do the right corner, we have to put the frame on the left edge. We're going to slide that up until the mark that we made lines up with the edge of the square. So we're gonna line that up. The trick is keeping the square flat against the side. Once you've got that lined up very lightly, trace that line you see we have a nice marked corner. Then you just flip the square around so the frame goes on the opposite side again. You're gonna slide it up until it lines up with that mark again, keeping the square flush against the side of the board. You're gonna trace that corner. Okay, so now we have both corners marked off. Again, we want to do that for both angled corners and rounded. We do that for the rounded because it is easier to cut that material off and, and it is uh, cleaner to make your scroll saw, scroll saw cuts. All right, now if you're gonna do circles, a rounded clock face, your teacher has a set of these templates. Instead of using a compass and all that, we're just gonna use one of these templates. So it's a use and return policy. It's already in the half circle. So what you're gonna do is use your clock face here. You're gonna line this up with the curved part of the template to the end of the board. And you are going to take this long straight edge and line it up right through the center of that X that we are using to mark where we're going to drill. So you're gonna put that right through the center of the X, 
line up the corners of it so that they match the edge of the board at the edge at the edge and then that, that should be right at the edge of the board for the curve once you have that set you're literally just going to trace the template lightly and once you have that done there should be your clock fix marked so you've got the x in the middle where we're going to be drilling if you're doing the angled corners you need to cut the angles off do that if you're doing the circle you need to do the angles and use the template to cut the round clock face again once you've used this please return it to teacher where they have that so that everyone else can use that as well this is your main clock base and face markings the other piece we can do now so we set this off to the side we're going to measure out on our smaller piece of wood this is for the charging stand so you see on our charging stand here there's lots of small little pieces set here that charging stand is so that you can set your phone in there to uh, charge it watch it whatever you want to do so we need to mark out some space in here okay so the first line that we need to do is across here it's going to split this down the middle almost the middle and that measurement is two and one eighth inches so just like before we're going to line up our ruler flush with the edge of the board and we're going to come over two whole inches and an eighth is two lines past so if you look here so we're squared up that is two and one eighth it's two lines past put a little mark get that marked on there on this one I like to run that mark again down towards the bottom just to make sure it's straight it's a little harder to use the square on this so again two and one eighth put a little mark I'd still like to use the square we're going to put the frame against the short end and square it up it should match on your marks here as you can see mine do here and here with its square trace that line through nice and lightly but you can see my line divided so it's a little over halfway the next marking is an inch and a half you need to do that at this end and this end so i just like to keep my ruler right along the line that we just drew get it squared up on the end of the block and on the line and then we are just going another inch and a half so we have one whole inch and a half inch put a little mark and to come down to this other end do the same thing again you can be any inch mark is fine as long as it's lined up at the end of the block come in one whole inch and a half inch put another mark so we've got our two marks inch and a half here inch and a half here again go to the speed square put it on the long edge of the block you're going to line it up with that mark again get it square draw your line across flip the block around frame against the long edge line it up with your mark trace it 